everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Valerie Dyson and today I am going to show you how to recreate this Mother's Day slash spring halo eye eyeshadow look and yeah so the eyeshadow palette that is the star of the show is this Urban Decay um, Born to Run eyeshadow palette that I won on Deborah's giveaway absolutely love this palette um, I am using these shades right here, which they are rubbed off a little bit because I did swatch them before even attempting this look. But yeah, I have a few of the shades. I'll show you in a minute when I'm getting into it. But love this palette. I definitely recommend you getting it if you haven't already got your hands on it. There is a lot of very beautiful and unique shades in this palette. So I definitely advise you on getting it it's worth the money in my opinion um but yeah i'm going to show you how to do this makeup look and um if you're new to my channel i do monthly giveaways i do currently have a giveaway going on right now this one is going um this video is going to be posted um i believe may 6th yeah this will be posted may 6th and uh, the announcement for the giveaway winner will be may 27th so i will probably pick the winner on may 26th so you have plenty of time to enter in that giveaway if you are watching this later i do monthly giveaways like i've already said so just look at my um recent playlist or my recent videos and look at the current uh, giveaway that's going on right now but yeah without further ado let's get on to this tutorial all right today i am going to be going with this color scheme that you see right here um and i am using the urban decay born to run palette this was a giveaway win that i won from deborah's giveaway not too long ago with the other products um yeah, I want, I want other products in that giveaway. She does awesome giveaways. I will um, put her channel link in my description box below so you can check her out. She does a lot of makeup looks. She does um, giveaways pretty often on her channel. And she's uh, starting to vlog with her husband more. So go check her out. And if you do, tell her Valerie Dawson sent you. If you are a new um, person go into her channel and you haven't heard about me talking about her before I really love her and her channel yeah just tell her Valerie Dawson sent you and I would appreciate that but yeah I'm gonna be playing with the palette I won in her giveaway and like I said this is the color layout that I am going for today um so I will be using let's see this one right here that is just a little bit darker than my natural skin tone is Weekender, which is this color right here. And um, this color that you see swatched right here is Still Shot. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, is this color right here. And that's very pretty especially for springtime this is um a color that i want to use a lot during the spring this is my everyday palette that i have had for a little while now um but yeah i've been loving it and thank you deborah for putting that in your giveaway and giving me a chance to win it <laughs> um this one right here i couldn't decide if i wanted to use the pump color are good as gone but i sweat swatched um it a couple times on my hand and uh, on both of the colors and i just decided that i wanted to go uh for the good as gone color but as you see here they're not that much color difference i just figured good as gone is a little bit richer in tone and that's why i'm going with this one but if you wanted more cooler tone are not as rich looking then the punk color would be good which in the pan it looks like that would be the richer color but in my opinion i think good is gone is the more richer brown if that makes any sense um and then the last color i will be using is this color right here and that one is a blaze so yeah i'm going to 
kind of do this little tutorial differently as you can already tell I'm gonna do it um, basically focus on just the eyeshadow portion of this tutorial and um, like skip through the rest kind of and just tell you what I'm using um, but I'm not really gonna show you when I'm using it I don't think I don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah it's gonna be more talk through than normal so the first thing I'm going to use is my Smashbox concealer just to prime the lids. After that, I'm going to be using my Veganic face powder just to set the eyes. I am so glad I actually cleaned my brushes two days ago. Now I have clean brushes and I don't have to worry about like, you know, cleaning them after every freaking use. Um, does anybody really really hate cleaning their makeup brushes as much as I do? I absolutely hate cleaning them. So I end up doing it maybe once a month. I don't know. Like, I know that's bad and I need to do them at least once a week. I know. And I do have this e.l.f. daily brush cleaner. But to be honest, I don't use those every day either. <laughs> By the way, if you are wondering about my little hairband, I just got it at Five Below. My husband got it for me and got me and the girls and him something from Five Below. If you've never been into a Five Below, you need to check it out, especially if you have uh, little girls that are around uh, like seven to 10 years old, they will love it. But to be honest, even if you're older, you're gonna love it. Um, they have such cute girly things. Um, yeah, check Five Below out. It's really nice. But yeah, I'm going to go in with my uh, Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I'm going to use uh, this Weekender uh, trans as a transition shade. So I forgot that it was Monday. and I Well, I knew it was Monday, but I just didn't. I, I forgot that we had no school today. And so you start freaking out and getting ready? Mm. Well, kind of. <laughs> that was cute. She thought I slept in even though I never sleep in, ever. Okay, going in with that Weekender shade, I'm just trying to find the perfect makeup um, brush for that. Okay, I finally found it. Uh, I'm using this Wet n Wild a fluffy uh, brush. It is such a good transition like brush um it's just yeah i love it i love the wet and wild brushes period it, they're really really nice um i don't know what else to say about them but they're really nice and they're affordable and they're cruelty free and i'm pretty sure they're vegan too so yeah if you want to know of a good drugstore brush brand um i really love wet and wild brushes and you can find them at the Dollar Tree a lot. All right, now I'm going to go within, in with that, um, that color right there, which is the Steel Shot color right here. And I'm going to be using a little bit more of a smaller kind of, um, brush for that. So I'm using this one for that color, but that was the one I did my transition color with. And this one's Equal Tools. And I'm just kind of going below where I put the um, Weekender shade. And I'm putting it like right below that, but I'm still kind of blending it all together. Um, so I don't I really don't know how to explain it too well. And I am going to do it more than once uh, in the same area just because this is like a buildable color. I'm actually going to put that still shot color kind of all over the lid area uh, to like right below where we put that Weekender shade. gonna land up looking sort of like this after that all right after that I'm gonna use the color good as gone 
um, this brown matte shade and I'm going to put it on the inner and outer corners of each eye and I'm going to kind of blend it out um, using this same brush but I'll be packing it on with this this side and then I will like wipe the other color off of um, the other end and kind of blend it out with this one. I'm just going to kind of do like a little cat eye look thing. It doesn't have to be neat at all. And then I'm going to just use, there's no color on this one anymore. And I'm just going to kind of blend it out. And I'm slowly going to do this part. I'm just going to slowly build it up. gonna end up looking like so at the end of that part so now I'm going to use this blaze color this very nice shimmer and I'm gonna use my ring finger well it is my ring finger my ring is on my neck because I have been swelling a lot in my hands and I know it's because of my diet but whatever let's don't talk about that but yeah I'm going to use my ring finger to get a blaze and put it on the center of my eye and I'm trying my best to do like a halo effect to this eyeshadow look. I like to use my other finger when I don't have any product on like I like to use the edge to kind of blend it out just using those motions that you just saw all right I think this shimmer needs just a tad bit more help so I'm going to use the ablaze color again but this time I'm going to put it on my brush um, and then I'm going to spritz it with this Smashbox um, crystallized uh, primer water this is the lavender and sweet orange scent but yeah I uh, just to intensify it just a little bit more see how that helped just that little bit of um, primer water with this it just made it a little bit more intensified. So now I'm going to use my Smashbox Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner. And this is in the color Raven. And I'm just going to align my upper eyeline with it. Okay, I am going to try not to mess up my eye makeup using this CoverGirl Total Tease Waterproof Mascara. I can't wait until... I have used this a month because I really want to give this a fair shot and try it out for a full month before I say I really don't like it. Um, but this is a messy, messy mascara and it's not very like user friendly in my opinion. Alright, after doing all of that, that's what that looks like. I had to basically use like a little pencil to... cat hair um to drag out the mascara and make it kind of like an eyeliner almost i just don't like this mascara it's too wet of a formula for me it just like it stays really 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 freaking wet for like a minute after that it is good because it will like dry down and be there and it doesn't flake or nothing like that and there's another thing something that's in it in this formula kind of irritates my eyes there's certain mascaras that irritates my eyes and i don't know what ingredient does it but i know the jordana um mascara that i absolutely loved 
it kind of irritated my eyes. I don't know what the what the ingredient was, but I love that mascara, but it made my eyes inch and it makes my eyes inch so much that I end up like pulling at them. And as you can tell, I don't have any lashes on this eye because that is my picking eye when, see, this one's fine. But that one, I have no lashes hardly because I've picked at them because something in this irritates them. But yeah, I don't like, I don't recommend this CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara if you're sensitive on certain ingredients that make your eyes like your eyelashes inch or if you really dislike wet formulas you will not like this one all right so now i am going to put on these la colors drama lash and this is the diva lashes this is what they look like um i think i got these at walmart but normally my local dollar general has uh the la girl or la colors lashes these are only a dollar a piece and I really love them. I think they look awesome. I've never tried the Diva ones yet, so that will be my first time using it today. But I'm going in with my Duo Lash lash Glue, like I always do. By the way, I just thought, um, maybe you want to know where my nails are from or what they are. They are LA Colors, um, I think they're called Pink Plaid Nails. And yeah, I, I use the... What glue do I use? I use the LA Colors nail glue too, which they are sold separately, but $2 nails basically for the glue and the nails. And I got small hands though. And I, th these was weird because they came with, you know how most of them come with like, um, they have the set and then below it, it'll have an extra big one and then um, small ones. In the bottom, this one came with two small ones, which I mean, no big deal for my hands because I got small hands. Like seriously, I can wear child's nails or children's nails, the kid nails that they sell. I can fit in those just like, you know, on the bigger side. But so these are kind of smaller, like around your finger than normal. And these are harder material. So that was weird and different, but I think they're cute. All right, well, I let that eyelash glue dry and do its thing. I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer to prime my face. Now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer to um, conceal under my eyes and maybe around my nose a little bit. Um, I will say I, I didn't like this concealer at first, but I'm liking it more and more every day the more I learn the formula and how it works the best and stuff. But um, I will say this is a very, very, very good concealer, um, especially if you're like, like one day I swatched it on the back of my hand to do something, I don't know, um, and then like, oh like two hours later or whatever when I was at work I went to wash my hands and I do like the nurse kind of washing hands 20 seconds bare claw all that jazz like the proper way but I wasn't paying attention of when I was washing my hands but after I washed my hands I went back and put went to put my gloves on and noticed that this concealer was still on the back of my hand so there's a little key note right there but I will say it's kind of a formula that you got to learn how to use because at first I didn't like it because it creased under the eyes a lot more um, than I liked but I will say the way I'm using it right now is I'm using the concealer first and then put my foundation like on my face after the concealer and it works really good um, and it doesn't crease as bad that way. So this is where I put my concealer and I don't even blend it out or nothing yet. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put my foundation on and blend it all together that way. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. But I also do have this Wet n Wild foundation mixed in with this just because 
The Wet n Wild one was too dark and this one was getting too light because this is my winter shade and it's going in the spring and summer so I'm getting more tanner. So I figured I would mix these two together and it's been my go-to shade. Now I'm gonna set my face using the Verganic Face Powder. Now I'm gonna use one of my favorite Milani Atec Extreme Liquid uh, Eyeliners and I'm going to basically just blend the falsies with my real lashes. Now I'm actually gonna go back in with the um, Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I'm using that same Good As Gone color, but I'm going to set my brows using that color. Now I'm going to use my Smashbox Cali Contour palette and I'm going to use um, this very warm bronzer shade. Let's see, that one right there to bronze up my face. And I'm also gonna go and highlight my face with this color from the same palette. I really hate sharing this product because it's not cruelty free, but I wanna be honest. Um, it, sent, it, it was a gift from my sister, so I really wanna use it up since it's already in my collection. But I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Stay In Place Lip Pencil. And this is the color 04 Rose. I've been really loving this color as of here lately, um, especially for May. This is the perfect color for springtime. Um, and it's a rosy color, so it's like Mother's Day. And I just really love this color and I can't steer away from it. If you wanna know of an inexpensive thing to send me, um, something that's cruelty free that's like a rose toned um, lip pencil would be perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what I really hate about these pencils like this is they never stay sharp and I can't like, I don't know what your lip liner pencil sharpeners look like, but mine looks like shh, doo doo. Um, so I need a new pencil sharpener, but to be honest, I just don't like sharpen them because that always happens to all my sharpeners. They get like crudded and I can't clean them out. If you have a little tip, let me know or I don't know. I just don't like pencil lip liners, period. Same thing for eyeliners. I really don't like the pencil kind. I like the kind that automatically sharpens or like the ones that's, I don't like the ones that's like kind of row tip you know, the kind of mechanical kind because they seem to dry out more. Um, but yeah, there's my thoughts about those kind of things. All right, so the last thing I have to do is the use the Smashbox Crystallized um, Primer Water, Lavender and Sweet Orange, and I'm going to set my face and then that will pretty much complete this makeup look. All right, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this Mother's Day slash spring halo eye makeup tutorial. Um, I did focus on more of the eyeshadow part. I really wanted to show y'all my thoughts of my, like my thought process of me doing my eye look. Let me know, this is a little bit different. Normally I do voiceovers, um, but I wanted to sit down and kind of explain what I'm doing and what I'm using when I'm using it, if that makes any sense. Let me know how you like this compared to my other eyeshadow look tutorials. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and enter in that giveaway that I have currently going on. But yeah, I will see y'all buddies next time. Bye!